if, if I'm making any sense, right? So. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Remember guys, another episode of our Pokemon GS Chronicles Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this one, and I know you guys are, take a second out of your day and hit that like button down below. It helps out the channel a lot and it shows that you're enjoying the series, which I always appreciate. And of course, we have our like goals every week. I think we're a little short of the last episode, so you guys might want to head back to episode two. Smash that like button there as well, and we'll set the like goal for this one at 5,500 likes. And of course, if you hit the like goal on all three episodes, then there is a bonus episode on Sunday, which is quite majestic. In the last episode, we took on Faulkner, which of course is the flying type gym, and I've heard whispers that this game is going to get a lot harder very soon. There was a patch that just rolled out for GS Chronicles, so shout out to my homie Uzi Gunner for hooking it up and getting me sorted with that. And before I jump into this video and get it going, I have to tell you guys about something that my Twitch stream has been hyped up about. Everyone's been hyped up about. You guys know I have my own, my own merch company and we are dropping some new t-shirts right now. You guys are hearing it first in this video. You can grab the new Team Shawnee t-shirts available right now. Three shirts available. Of course, you can check out their merch store for the other shirts. We have a bunch of other cool designs. But these three are insane, dude. You've got the Shawnee Greninja, the Shawnee Charizard, and the Shawnee Lucario t-shirts and hoodies available now. Super high quality great price and what's even better is you can actually bundle the t-shirts together for just sixty dollars three t-shirts sixty bucks three amazing shirts no brainer no doubt about that so get those new team shawnee shirts they're insane dude you guys are gonna be mind blown if you pick those up now without further ado let's jump into the episode here we are on route 36 and we're heading southbound right here ready to rock <laughs> that's like the fortnite song the little kid singing it and this is our squad right now so as you can see we, we gotta do some training. One thing that you guys mentioned that I honestly didn't realize is Skittles evolves with a Moonstone. And I have a Moonstone. It's very tricky because to me, I'm like, well, if I'm gonna use the Moonstone, I probably wanna use it. Ooh, a TM, what do we got here? I probably wanna use it on, uh, ooh, not on a Mankey. I probably wanna use it on Nido Queen because we could have an early game Nido Queen and I feel like that would actually be really strong. But I'm not really sure, so. Just some things to make note of. I, 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 I'm I gonna use that Moonstone, I just don't know when. Snarl! I actually quite like that pickup. That's a really nice pickup. Let's see uh, what Pokemon can learn Snarl. Uh, just Fuego, but honestly, that's not bad at all. I have a question for you guys. Without spoilers, can you let me know in the comment section if anyone knows? Am I able to, um, to actually change abilities in this game? I know some games have like ability pills and stuff. That'd be pretty hype. And Wingman can learn Pluck. Someone left a comment mentioning that, so shout out to you. That was a really good decision. That was a really good idea, because now we actually have a good move on Wingman. I'm probably not gonna use Supersonic. Oh, there's two Team Rocket Grunts down here. You here again, little pest? I told you I'll forgive you for t turning down a Slowpoke Tail. Yes, we're Team Rocket, and we're back rocking. It's time for you to get punished, and now you're alone. He's not alone! It's Chris! A girl outside told me a group of suspicious people were acting strange in here. I never imagined Team Rocket was back. Why did you come to Johto? You were disbanded three years ago. That's none of your business, you silly brat. We learned from our mistakes and we're not allowing a group of kids to ruin our plans again. Disappear from our sight. So we're jumping into a double battle here right out the gates. Alrighty then. They've only got two Pokemon. It's a Mischievous and an Apom. And the Apom doesn't have a level, which has me a little concerned. And we've got a Lediba and obviously low fat. We're gonna switch out here. Oh, it doesn't even let me choose the Pokemon that I have. Okay, well, I'll go into Erwin then. That's kind of messed up. It doesn't even give me... I, I need to make sure I, like, keep my party ordered properly then, because that could be problematic. Otherwise, uh, Apom gonna go for Tail Whip. They triple lowered my defense, which... Actually, that hits both. Jeez. And Lettybot hits that Super Sonic, which is nice. I'm a little nervous to stay in and take a hit, but I think I can probably go for a Bite... And we have Hidden Power Flying. Let's go for the bite into the Mischievous. Mischievous is confused. It hurt itself, which is big, actually. And here comes a Sand Attack. If, all, if, if I don't miss, that'll be nice. If I do miss, I'll switch out either way. There's a big bite. Hits the Mischievous. Does activate a Berry. Okay. I respect it. And then let's see what they're going to do. Super Sonic into the Apom, which I'd like to see. Um, being minus three, he's going to pick up a bit. Bruh. He just picked up that berry. Okay. I'm going to go with a Skittles. You already know Skittles. Loves to sing. Loves munching on them rainbow Hello. Skittles. Loves to fake out some fools and do some big things. So let's see what happens here. Mischievous goes for Screech into the Ladybug. 
And let's see what Apom's gonna do. Also confused. And Apom sand attacks my Skittles here. Now Skittles, we're gonna just... Oh, Drain Punch from Ladybug. So Ladybug's definitely buffed in this game if it's got Drain Punch. Because that that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go for a Fake Out into the Apom so I can't Fake Out anything else anyway. And that'll nullify it this turn. It is gonna activate its Berry, which is a little bit annoying. But that may put it into Drain Punch range or pretty close. Obviously, you can't attack. Mischievous snaps out of confusion. Goes for the Screech. Continuously being annoying. And Drain Punch from Ladybug here into Apom. Almost knocks it out. Now, obviously, can't even knock anything out aside from the Apom. So, I'm just going to go for Covet. And we're going to pick up the Apom. And then it's just the Mischievous left. Which probably means I switch out into Irwin. And he's going to turn into the Crocodile Hunter and do some things here, I think, is going to be the play. A little bit of XP. Level 15 for Skittles, our highest level member of the team. Here comes a big Psy Wave coming off. I think we're going to be okay, though. Okay, not too bad. Supersonic from Ladybug. I think we're going to be able to get through this battle without too much of an issue. But uh, that's a pretty interesting interesting battle there. I did not expect that. Let's go Irwin. We'll go for Bite. And I think that that should do plenty of damage to knock out this Mischievous. Very, very interesting. Going to switch out the Ladybug into Shinx. Probably snag and intimidate. No? Okay. Confusion hurts itself. And now I just need a nice bite here to finish this thing off. So, so far, so good. Irwin gets a nice level to 15. Almost evolving. Wants to learn Scary Phase. Probably going to pass on that one. And we'll see what Team Rocket's got in store for us next. We're going to beat these two guys down. Why are these brats so strong? What the heck just happened? Defeated by Bratz again. Unforgivable. The mighty Team Rocket plans won't be ruined again. We must inform Lord Proton about it. He'll surely punish those Bratz in no time. Goodbye for now, kids. How come Team Rocket is back? Why did they come to our peaceful Johto? Not sure about their intentions, but they aren't nice people. I hope they're just some thugs pretending to be Team Rocket. Be careful, Lady Drive. All right, so she's going to head up uh, in advance. I'm going to head up this way because there's a Pokeball up here. And it's a Thunderstone. Yo, they're hooking it up right now. Sweet. All right, well, let's head south. We'll go to the next route here. I'm going to be honest. I think I was supposed to get an encounter on this little area, and I did not. And I would love to, but again, it's kind of it's kind of awkward. Because like I said, I thought this is technically the same route, but I think it is a new area. So unfortunately, looking like I just kind of lost an encounter. It's, we might have to figure some things out about that because I don't know. I'm not really sure if, if I'm making any sense, right? So... Okay, um, so I didn't I never got an encounter on this route because it's labeled as the same route name But I think it's a different encounter table. It's unfortunate, but it kind of is what it is The good news is we don't need no fat because we got Butterfree Low fat is evolving into the beautiful Butterfree very excited for this pickup You guys know I love Butterfree especially when it has compound eyes and sleep powder super duper powerful Putting things to sleep, making things take naps. You already know our team loves to lull our opponents to sleep. It didn't learn any moves at level 10. And there's clearly a glitch on that spray. I don't know what's going on with that. I have no idea what's going on. It has soundproof to avoid sound-based moves. It didn't learn any moves. It's level 0. Something is very wrong. Um, I'm going to see if I can fix that. Because I updated to the new update for Chronicles and something is very wrong. Let me see if I can fix that. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So I actually just had to go back to the old version of GS Chronicles. Something was wrong with that patch. I don't know what it is. Uh, the only thing that changed was Wingman did get an extra level there because I just used it in that battle. Uh, it grabbed Bite and now Low Fat did evolve and has Gus. So just full transparency, it has compound eyes. Something got super messed up there. I don't know what happened, but it seems to be resolved now. I had to go back to the older patch of GS Chronicles. I don't know why, but I'll try to figure that out for the next episode. And we actually head right into the ruins of Alf. Wow, so this game takes you to the ruins of Alf instead, which might mean we have an encounter. I don't know what this means, really. Did not anticipate coming to the ruins of Alf. This is the research cabin. Most of us came from Azalea Town. We've been investigating these ruins since last year, but there's many unsolved mysteries that we don't know. Oh, it's Bugsy! Currently, nobody can enter the chamber because we're finding out information about the enigmatic unknown. Okay, that's blocked off as well. There's a trainer over there. There was one room that I can go into, which... What's this? Nothing. I can go into this room. All right, it's puzzle time. Nailed it! 
Oh, we're falling down. Didn't expect, oh, there's a scientist. It was just a kid, Mr. Bugsy. Oh my, I thought the ruins were collapsing. My name's Bugsy, I'm running a research about unknown. There are very enigmatic Pokemon that have been living here for centuries. How did you fall here? Did you seriously solve the puzzle from the chamber? That's superb, I tried to solve it for so long with no luck. You seem to be connected to these ruins in some way. I'll give you a copy of my own invention. It'll help you register unknown. The unknown report. That's interesting that Bugsy's the one doing this. Has all the tools to register unknown data. I haven't been able to register a single one, so I hope it will work for you. I'll go back to Azalea Town. You can have my phone number in case you need to contact me about finding any rare unknown. Okay, sounds good to me. So I guess we get one encounter of a known here, if I find one. I don't know what else I'm gonna find down here, but we'll take a look around. And our encounter is an unknown K! Who would have thunk it? I mean, I guess I'll catch it. Um, I don't think a tackle will knock it out. And before this thing has hidden power rock and it knocks me out. Don't do that to me. Oh, it's not very effective. Okay, so whatever this thing's hidden power is, it's not good against flying and bugs. So fighting is a good guess. Uh, I'll have to think of other types. Grass, grass, flying. I'm not sure, but I'll have to try to weaken this thing a little bit more. And we caught the unknown. Sweet. Oh, it'll tell me what its type is, isn't it? All right, we'll name you K. Okay. All right, looks like I got out of the Runes of Alf, no problemo. So let's head to the next route and see what we got in store for us. And this route has a new route marker, Route 32. So it seems as though this map has definitely changed. This is the route that I anticipated being on. And yes, I think this is normally where you would get like the Miracle Seed and things like that. So what I want to do is I want to prioritize Cersei because I do feel like it is in my best interest to try to get this thing to evolve. Um, just because I do feel like having a Nido Queen would be so strong. As much as Delcaddy would be good too, I think getting a Nido Queen is definitely worth. So let's see what this guy's all about. I did defeat Faulkner, yes, I have the Zephyr badge and he gives me the Miracle Seed as you would normally get. So that's really nice. Unfortunately, none of our Pokemon really benefit from any sort of normal or grass type moves rather. So we'll just keep moving. And our encounter this time is... Riolu! Okay, hold up, pause the phone. That is what I'm talking about. Bro, oh boy. Oh, we have rivalry, not poison. Okay. Okay, I have to catch this thing and I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous to catch this thing. This is a pickup if there ever was a pickup. What can I do to weaken this thing? Maybe Wingman coming in and going for like a super weak move maybe? This is gonna be really hard to catch this Riolu, I think. He's got Endure. Oh, if I only had attacked him then. I could Absorb. I don't think there's any way Absorb is gonna KO him. He's gonna for, oh my God, I can't believe we just found a Riolu. That's actually so hype. Okay, that does nothing. All right, I'm gonna weaken it a little bit more and then I'm hopefully gonna be able to catch this thing. Trusty Premier Ball, please! Boom, let's go! How fitting is it that the day I launch the new Lucario t-shirt, we get this amazing Riolu. Oh my gosh, I am definitely naming you Skywalker and I want you guys to know that this thing has the force. Another happiness evolution though. Could we be could we be real about that? I have to go back. How do I even add that thing to my team? I don't know if I can even add to the team right now. I think I would have to box low fat for it. Oh, that's so tempting. Well, I'm gonna proceed on the route first and then we'll see what kind of happens. But my goodness, that was such a pickup. Did you defeat Faulkner? It doesn't mean anything to me. Then why are you asking, bro? Like seriously, how are you gonna come in here and say, oh, did you beat Faulkner? And then be like, oh, it doesn't matter. Why are you level seven? Jeez. Oh, maybe I would have been able to, oh, I accidentally scratched instead of double kick. Maybe I was able to actually come here before I took on the gym. I don't know, because he would have stopped me. They wouldn't have let me go through. So I'm not sure why he's only level seven, but that's okay. Uh, we should be able to beat this thing. And again, priority number one right now is getting Cersei to level 16 to evolve it. Because I think having a Nido Queen is just so strong. Like, it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, we get to activate our rivalry on this, uh, this Ekans. Although that does very little damage. And a Bundu, which again, we should be able to beat no problem. I may actually switch out. Let's go into our little bat and get some experience there for the wingman. Cause you already know, no matter who you're hanging out with, wingman is the homie to join you on your journey. He'll, re he'll really come down and, and hook it up anytime you need him to. He'll come out, he'll be that hype man. 
he'll he'll uh he'll he'll be there whenever you need him you know what i'm saying whether you got to go to the gym whether you're going out to party he's there for you he's your wingman that's what i'm saying all right beat that trainer easy peasy all right so i headed back to the pokemon center here and i grabbed uh some great balls and stuff like that i feel like Definitely worthwhile to grab a couple different items here just to be prepared for the journey. Journey starts today. And I figure we might as well take a look at some of the Pokemon we picked up. So here is K, which is a Psychic type. It has Levitate, obviously, very good. And it has Hidden Power Bug, pretty bad. Obviously, we know about Mini. Skywalker here has Steadfast. It is a lonely nature. Oh, poor Skywalker. Well, when you have the force that strong, things can be a little lonely at times. Um, I'm gonna keep the team as it is right now, as challenging as that may be, leaving a Riolu in the in the PC. But I'm already using my Soothe Bell on Wingman, and I feel like that Pokemon is very good for the upcoming gym. Whereas having a Fighting type for the Bug Gym that is weak to Scyther and stuff, probs not my best bet. All right, so I cut out a handful of battles because they weren't really all that relevant. It was legitimately beating up super easy trainers. But Cersei has now got into level 16, and that should give us that ev evolution into. Nidoran, or Nidorina rather, of course. And now I can have a Nido Queen. And I think, I know that Skittles has been so good, but Queen Cersei here is ready to wear her crown and carry the team. And I feel like having a Nido Queen is just so good. How could I possibly pass up early game, especially on a Nuzlocke? I know it means I'm probably not gonna get the best moves on it, but I think it's worth the gamble. So I'm gonna use my Moonstone on Queen Cersei, and we are gonna have Nido Queen, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to. I don't want Cersei to be judged based on the Lannister family, okay? But we have a Nido Queen with one badge. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. And maybe it'll have a, a an evolution move. That would be quite nice. But dude, it's a Nido Queen. That thing is so good. I mean, this thing really is so good. Even if its moves aren't that good right now. I figure it learns a lot of TM, so we can probably take advantage of those. And it has Hidden Power Fighting as its Hidden Power, so not all that great, but I guess I'll go with it. And another TM here, and that is Silver Wind? Yo, I'm loving the TMs in this game so far. That's amazing. And obviously the only one who can learn it is Low Fat, but still, that's amazing, dude. That's a really good move to get at this point in the game. I'm gonna get rid of Harden, and now we have Silver Wind on low fat. I'll probably start to train this thing up a little bit more. All right, let's see what this Psychic guy has in store now that I picked up Silver Wind. Some rare Pokemon can only be caught at night. I have to remember that. I have to be like switching back and forth. This guy got a Ball Toy. Level 10, this is the perfect battle for low fat to get a little warm up here. We'll go for Silver Wind, and this should do a lot of damage, even though we're the same level. I mean, I'm still a Butterfree. Ooh, uh-oh, you gotta be kidding me. <gasps> low fat with the biggest clutch oh my gosh low fat thank you so much for living you're welcome oh i almost was so sad i was almost so sad guys i really was almost so sad okay um well i have to be a little bit more careful my team is kind of weak to rock so let's go into skittles here i obviously have the fake out pressure gonna switch out the ball toy into what stantler Okay, so Stantler's kind of a problem. I'm not even gonna lie. Stantler's kind of a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna flinch him. I am gonna go out on a limb and say that Stantler is gonna have double kick. So I'm gonna switch out Skittles because I'm not playing this game right now. I'm gonna switch out. Okay. All right. All right. You know, I, I'll keep it safe for now. We can go for... I have hidden power fighting. That's right. And double kick. So let's go for return. I'm just gonna rely on Queen Cersei right now. She is, she is doing her thing. All right. And here comes a Stantler. That is a that is a strong Pokemon to just throw out there like that. I'm gonna go for double kick. And that is that is gonna just do what it needs to do. Perfect. All right, could have been a tough battle, but we, we get through it. Thankfully, low fat living that rock too, man. Oh my gosh. What's this? Oh, it's it's uh Chris again. I knew we would beat here. I took grandpa's advice and I started training Pokemon seriously so I can better research about Pokemon eggs. I had the idea to battle you again and test my own skills as a trainer. Don't hold back and let's have fun. Random rival battle that I was not expecting. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what you got. She got three Pokemon. I'm gonna kick it off with a Lettyba. All right, so Lettyba. I actually feel like I could, it's a higher level, but I think I could just go for Gust. And if it is a fighting type in this game, it's gonna do a lot, but either way, yeah, that's good damage. And it is gonna go for Supersonic, which obviously I gotta deal with confusion, but I think I'm gonna just YOLO it and see if I can hit this Gust. Gonna switch it out. Probably into Shinx. Yeah, into the Shinx. Okay. That's fine. 
And I do get the gust off, but obviously we're gonna not want to stay in here because it's a shinx. So this is this is why we have the queen, right? This is why we have the queen, right? Because Queen Cersei comes out and don't care about no shinx. No, it don't. Yeah, you can't spark me. No, no. No, you can't. No, no. And I get to go for probably double kick is my strongest move. But I'm gonna go for return. Let's see how much this does, because it might not love me yet. Oh, she loves me. She loves me. That's pretty strong. I'm about that life. Okay, I see you with that. I see you with that. All right, well, another return should knock it out. She's gonna potion though. So the trainers in this game do use potions, full heals, different items like that. I generally set the rule of three potions per battle. Uh, so I try to stick to that as best as I can, obviously, um, which can sometimes be frustrating, but we do what we can. Lofag gets a nice level there. Wants to learn confusion. I'm about that as well. These are good things happening here for low fat. We don't need tackle. Bug psychic and flying coverage is pretty solid. Not perfect, but it's pretty solid. You don't like steel types, but not too shabby. Now we gotta deal with the oh a Volpix. Okay, I have things for that. I have Irwin. I think I just go Irwin. Or I can actually go Fuego. Yeah, let's go Fuego, because Fuego loves the heat, man. One of the things that Fuego loves to do is sit by the campfire and just relax. You know what I'm saying? He's always fired up. He's always ready to go and bring the heat, but he loves to sit by the campfire and relax. So that's a big thing about Fuego. Um, I'm gonna Snarl. She's got Bite. I'm confused. I hit myself a Confusion. I need to hit this Snarl, please. No flinch. Come on, Fuego. Fuego hits a Snarl. You love to see it. I think I'm gonna have to switch out though. We are gonna get a special attack drop. You quite like that. And then let's switch out. Let's go into Irwin here. And we're gonna be able to get off a nice water gun. I think that's probably our play. Uh, we're getting close to evolving. Gonna go for the dig, actually. Gonna go for the dig. Which tells me that my play here is actually, it's time to unleash the wingman. I think we just go straight into wingman. Try to get this thing into some battles right now. Get that Soothe Bell rocking. That's very cool that the Vulpix has dig. I can now go for pluck. He's got confused, right? This is a very fast Vulpix. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident right now because any of the moves is gonna go for. I have plenty of things to deal with. Let's see if we can get this off. I do hit myself a confusion again. That is not a risk I'm willing to take. Let's actually go back out into Irwin here. Really don't want to take those risks. Probably gonna have to take a fire move right now. An ember. I'm just gonna go for bite. That's fine. But now I do get to get off that uh, that water gun. And it is faster, man. This thing is really, really into confuse ray. And I'm just dealing with conf this is a very fast Vulpix. All right, let's see. Yes, get that water gun off, Irwin. Good stuff, bro. Good stuff! Erwin getting off that water gun. Here comes the dig, which means I'm gonna have to switch out again to take that. And I snap out of confusion. Honestly, I'm gonna take the dig because I feel like I, I easily eat this dig, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Vulpix is not gonna have the highest physical attack stat. So we're best off just taking it. We get that KO, and I think all that's left is the lead. It was the Lettyba, right? Yeah, here comes the Lettyba again that we saw. Level 13 Lettyba. One more Pokemon needed one more opportunity. I like that. Um, I think we just hit in Power Flying. Since I have it. Might as well. It could Drain Punch me, but yeah, we're gonna crit it and knock it out. So see you later, little Letty Bud. I love ya. And Erwin does its thing. And we beat our rival, no problemo. I love it. We're doing good. I called Grandpa and he told me I wouldn't make any progress within my research if I didn't have Pokemon battles by myself. Thanks for battling me. I know I have things to learn if I want to become a Pokemon trainer. I'm looking forward to battling you again. Until then, I'll become stronger. See you later, Chris. All right. Well, normally over here, you would get the poison barb. There's usually like a trainer that stands here and gives you the poison barb. That seems to not be the case here. So that's fine. But I do get access to the Pokemon Center now. I can't swim or anything. I can heal up though. And let's take a look. Oh, and someone had told me that... Um, someone told me that like the move relearner and stuff was here. Oh, do you give me the good rod? Or the old rod? Yeah, okay. So we got the old rod, which may give us some new encounters. Uh, Cherry Grove would be an encounter if I went all the way back, right? That actually might be worth. I don't know if I want to go all the way back to Cherry Grove right now, but we do technically have an encounter back there. And someone had mentioned to me, oh, move the leader. And then the move relearner, I think, is over here. Yes, the move reminder. I'm going to go through my mods and see if there's anything good here. Cersei would be the biggest one. Yeah, so Cersei learns superpower. That's the only one, but it's superpower. So, I mean, that's better than what we have. Um, I think I think I want to get rid of hidden power 
I think I want to get rid of Double Kick for Superpower. That's a really good pickup. Sweet. No other good moves, but we'll take that one. All right, so I am actually going to double all the way back to Cherry Grove. It's a little bit annoying to do, but we never got an encounter there, and I have the old rod now, so I think it is worthwhile. So I actually get an encounter in Violet City as well, because the only encounter I got here was the egg, and that's a static. So I'm going to cast my rod here and see what we can find, and then we'll head to Cherry Grove to grab that encounter as well. And we're going to get a Goldeen as our encounter, a level 8 Goldeen. I figured I was going to get Magikarp, so to me, that's a win, because like I said, I was pretty sure it was just going to be a Magikarp anyway. Um, I think Wingman can weaken it, and then we'll catch this Goldeen. And we caught it with no problem, so female Goldeen. We got two queens on the team. We got... Nido Queen and Sea Queen. We're gonna learn Wing Attack, but I think Pluck is better, so we'll keep that. And let's get this uh, little Goldeen here. Well, another Water Type might not be the worst thing. We'll keep it simple with Goldie, if I can spell it right. All the way back to Cherry Grove, and again, we can fish out here. And another Goldeen, so we'll grab another one. And it's a Bollywag, actually. Yo, I'm honestly all about that, dude. That's a big pickup. All right, let's see if I can catch this. I'm gonna have to weaken it a little bit here, which is gonna be problematic, I think. Um, not sure how to weaken it. I might just eat a ball at it. Well, that worked out incredibly well. This swag pole, baby. I gotta say, we got a very regal theme on the team here. We've got quite a few kings and queens. Um, <laughs> you give me a slow poke and we got a really regal team. But uh, let's take a look at those new Pokemon that we just snagged. This is a relaxed nature with water absorb. That could be really good, actually. Great stats overall uh, in terms of being a potentially like uh, defensive poly toad, maybe. Um, and then Goldie here is quiet nature, which is kind of bad. Swift Swim isn't terrible, and it has Horn Attack, and we could probably teach it, like, Pluck and stuff. But given what I have, I think I'm going to stick to the team that we have right now. And I actually remember that we have an encounter all the way back in our starter town, too. I don't know if there's any Pokemon left in the encounter table, but we'll try. All right, so I've gotten, like, ten encounters, and they're all Goldeen, so I'm going to just claim Dupe's Claws, and maybe when I have a better rod, I can try to get an encounter here. So just remind me that I have one here. All right, and we're all caught back up where we were. Oh, there's this guy here. What, did you defeat Faulkner? He's so strong, I don't believe you. This is probably the flying type trainer. Yep, that's what he is. Three Pokemon, kicking it off with a Starly. Uh, this should be a really easy battle. I'm just gonna fly through this one. Yeah, Bird Keeper Jack was no match for me. And now we are headed towards Union Cave. So I'm gonna heal one more time and then let's head through this cave. All right, it's time for Union Cave. Let's get that encounter. Give me something good. I could really use a rock type right now. And it's an Onyx. Yo, I'm all about that. This could be really, really good. Definitely don't want to stay in. But uh, let's switch out into... Cersei should be able to weaken this thing pretty well. And I'm going to try to catch this Onyx. Okay, this is a very, very big pickup. I weakened him down to like one HP. So if I can catch this Onyx, I'm going to be very happy. But he's kind of tricky. So I'm going to keep chucking great balls and hopefully get him. Hey, we got him, baby. Let's go. That is a Pokemon that we needed for the team. No doubt about it. Obviously not the most impressive offensive Pokemon, but if we can get a Metal Coat, this thing is going to be so busted. And in general, it's going to be really good against Bugsy. So I'm going to name you Rolex because you already know we got that Rolex on our wrist. I don't actually own a Rolex, but it really fits when it's a shiny one. And I've used shiny Steelix before. I think that's an insta-add to the team. I really do. A Rash Nature Onyx is terrible. He has Rock Head. He has Curse and Rock Throw, though. These aren't bad moves. Um, we could probably work with that. I feel like I've got to have him on the team, though, just given the upcoming gym. So I have to make a very tough decision. Who do I cut from the squad? I think it's actually going to be Low Fat for now. I hate to say that. But Low Fat, I love you. I really do. But I think we've got to have Rolex on the team, just given... Just given what's ahead of us. Before I travel through the cave, I'm just going to grab some levels on Rolex here. Picking up Rock Tomb. Nice improvement over Rock Throw. All right, all trained out. We got Rolex up to 13. Feeling super fancy. I think right now the focus is really to probably evolve Erwin now. So I'm going to put Erwin in the front. He's going to manage to handle these, uh, you know, these ground and rock types a little bit better. And there's a Zubat, of course. So we'll work our way through this cave and see what's up in store up ahead. And we got a TM down here. It is Rock Tomb, which I just picked up, but that's not a bad pickup for a few Pokemon like Nido Queen. Uh, Cersei would really enjoy that. Let's take a look what else can kind of benefit from Rock Tomb. Uh, just Cersei right now, and Erwin too, so those are both really good. All right, let's see what this guy's got in store for us. I've been beating up all these trainers. They've been so easy at this point. Um, so, and I don't even have the experience share on, so this guy's got some coughings. 
These can be a little sketchy if they have self-destruct, but I'm thinking we're gonna be okay. I'm just gonna go for Water Gun and try to hit them on their special side. Uh, Coughing generally a more physically defensive Pokemon. And he does go for Poison Gas, which is certainly annoying because he's gonna poison me. But I do grab a 2 KO here with the Water Gun. So let's just finish off this Coughing. I may need to switch out otherwise, but yeah, that was an easy KO. Nice crit there. And we're almost evolving too. We're, we're one level away here for Erwin. Uh, who's now our highest level on the team. And it is a Numal left, actually, instead of a second coughing. It's a little bit of variety there, but this water gun is gonna just say goodbye to the Numal. See you later, buddy. Yeah, that wasn't wasn't anything too crazy. And Erwin is evolving. I just beat up this Fire Breather with a Cyndaquil and a Charmander, but they were such low levels. So Erwin gets this big evolution into a Croconaw. You gotta love that. And this thing is gonna be a powerhouse on the team. Crikey, mate! He's ready to go, ready to rock and roll. My man Croconaw here. Erwin has officially evolved. No moves, but let me grab that item and then we are done with Union Cave. Oh, as soon as I stepped out of the cave, there's a guy ready to battle you. Let's see what you've got. I, I can't imagine this guy's gonna be too tricky. He's a fighting type trainer. He's got a Mankey and it's level 13. I've got Wingman here who's ready to pluck him and do some big damage here. Wingman, do your thing. Oh, he's got focus energy. Okay, so he could try to crit me, but I don't really think Mankey at this level is gonna have anything that's too big of a concern. And we almost one-shot him. And he's gonna go for Fury Swipes. This actually, oh, if he hits five times with crits, we're in trouble. Oh, dude, that actually could have been really bad. We got super lucky. He didn't get a single crit there and he only hit three times. That could have been very bad for a little wingman. Woo, baby. So I do still have a Route 33 encounter. I'm gonna grab that shortly. I wanna work my way to Azalea Town first though. Oh, there's the old man in the team, Rocket Grunt. I am not healed up, though. Um, I really hope I can heal first, because I don't have a lot of potions if I have to do a tough battle here. I'm going to wing it, but this could be kind of bad. Let's see. Just take a look around and don't disturb our business, useless old man. Nobody's allowed to get into this well. Oh, he's going to run away, and then he's going to block the well. Okay, so we'll deal with that later. I need to get into the Azalea Town. I need to get some encounters. Or rather, I need to get some potions and stuff and get kind of settled in. And then I'm going to head back to the previous route and grab that encounter as well. And this guy's going to hook me up with charcoal. Hey, normally you don't get the charcoal until after you do the little far fetch quest. So I'm all about that uh, because that gives us a boost to our fire type moves, which is very clutch considering our upcoming gym battle. And Team Rocket's clearly blocking the gym here. Yeah, the gym leader's not here yet. So... Let's go back and grab that other encounter that we need. All right, our Route 33 encounter is gonna be a... Pidgey. It's a Pidgey. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a Pidgey. Um, okay, well, let me just throw some Pokeballs at it and see if I can catch this thing. And we got it. This honestly isn't that bad though, because, you know, uh, standard flying type, you know, nothing too crazy, but we can name you Jesus. Bird Jesus, of course, making its appearance on the team. So, Bird Jesus. I'll actually call it, I'll call it Bird Jesus. Bird Jesus, baby, let's go. And here's our Bird Jesus. It is a brave nature with tangled feet. That's so bad. Oh my God, this thing is terrible. Okay, well, <laughs> so be it, dude. We've got a stacked box though. Uh, heading into the uh, bug type gym battle. My goodness, I think I probably try to, try to buff it up a little bit more. Um, honestly, I don't actually even know what I changed because this is a really, really solid squad. Uh, for the bug type gym but i think this is actually a really good spot for us to wrap up we've got plenty of tough battles up ahead for us as we have to figure out what's going on with team rocket in the well what's going on in elex forest and will we take on bugsy and have big issues i really have no idea we're gonna throw down to the next episode of pokemon gs chronicles don't forget grab that amazing t-shirt bundle you can get all three shirts for just 60 dollars or you can get each individual design. We have hoodies as well. Check them out at teamshawnee.com. You do not want to miss out on our amazing merch. We actually have a bunch of merch, including this shirt and a couple other shirts. So take a browse around there, pick up some new shirts for your wardrobe and rock Team Shawnee in style. Hit that like button if you haven't yet, guys. Like I said, 5,500 likes for a bonus episode on Sunday. You don't want to miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon GS Chronicles. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.